And good evening, everyone. New information tonight after a baby is mauled to death by a dog. Inside the home of that little boy's step-grandmother. Nicole Grigg joins us live from Dayton Police Headquarters. Nicole, what have we learned? Jack and Deborah Dayton police are handling the investigation into the death of the seven month old baby. Now, the coroner's office tells us they've ruled that this is an accident and that the baby died from multiple blunt force trauma. This is a picture of seven month old Jonathan Corals Jr., who was at home yesterday with his step grandmother when something happened, causing her dog, an American Staffordshire Terrier, to attack. Tonight, we talked to her family briefly about the attack. She's my, she's my stepsister, my sister, so I'm just coming over to play with her. Keep them lifted up at this time. Would y'all please do that? The dog, which we're told resembles a pit bull, was taken away by animal resource officers yesterday and is now in their hands, alive, pending the police investigation. I don't, I don't have all the details, but... One thing I know is that the family need prayer right now. Homicide detectives were back on scene today. They investigate any infant death. They walked out of the Riverside Drive home with two large dog cages, a bag of evidence, and a large metal chain from the backyard. It really irks me because this could have been taken care of, um, especially since there was a prior report on this dog for an attack. We talked with Isabel Crickmore last night. She has a current misdemeanor complaint against the baby step grandmother, Kamiko Hardy. She says her beagle was attacked by Hardy's dog, too. Right here is where it was shaved. It's grown in pretty good. We asked Hardy's family about the previous attack that was reported just last month. Well, I don't know about any other attacks, but hey, like I said, just pray. Just pray for them. Now, the dog was never quarantined in that instance because officials only document human attack cases. Right now, it's unclear if that grandmother will face any charges. Reporting live in Dayton, Nicole Grigg, ABC 22 News.